guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games, and welcome back to episode number 15 of the Scunthorpe United Road to Glory career mode. So we are back with the lads of Scunthorpe, the Irons of Scunthorpe United, to take on another four games in today's episode. So we'll jump across into the calendar and see what games we have on offer for today's episode. So the first one, which will be a played game against the club that I support, on the 25th of September, that will be against the Birmingham City. A week later, we've got a game against Crystal Palace in the league on October the 2nd. That one is at home. We're into today's third game, and that is an away game against Charlton Athletic on the 6th of October. And to round out the fourth and final game of today's episode, it will be against Millwall on the Tuesday 12th of October. So guys, let's get the squad all booked out for the game against Birmingham, and I will return very shortly. Alrighty guys, so the squad has been picked out for this game against Birmingham City. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are. We are away from home at St Andrews Trillion Trophy Stadium as a Birmingham play host to us, the boys of Scunthorpe United. Okay guys, so on screen right now you can see the team lineups for our game now against Birmingham City. So they will be running with a 4-4-2 of Cornell Truman in goal. A back four of Harding, Roberts, Sankin, and Pedersen. Four in the midfield in Vilalba, Sunic, McCochran, and Lapalainen. And two strikers up front will be Jukovic and Jimenez. As for the Scunthorpe United side, it will be our first team 11 with Patala in goal. A back four of Diaz, Ponce, Berta, and Rosier. Two in the defensive midfield in Hoiberg and Alvarez. Three in the higher midfield with Crowley, Sonkrasen, and Chris Iconomides. Up front will be our striker, Eric, And it will be Birmingham City to kick things off for this game. Now, as I said earlier, it's been a while since we've taken control of the lads from Scunthorpe. But we are doing well in the championship places at the moment. So let's continue our good form. He looks to go back in central, Alvarez. He looks to go all the way down the line to find Val Rosier. Can we find a ball forward here? We do. It's Eric onto Chana Tips on Kras and takes the touch. And he's beaten Connell Truman in goal for Birmingham City. And we've walked it through after 30 minutes in this game. And here it is on the replay. Val Rosier plays it in central to Eric. Eric puts on a through ball to Chana Tips on Kras and who takes the time and takes the extra touch. But in the end, it's too much for Connell Truman as he is beaten at the edge of the six yard box. That goal does come to Chanatip Sonkrasen. Two goals for him now in the championship. And it will be a Birmingham City to kick things off again in this first half. They've been a relatively resolute side so far. One little lapse of judgment in their defense. We'll see us come away with the goal so far. To go wide, Chris Iconomides hasn't really worked himself too much into this game so far. Well, and they've dunked one in over the back lines for Harding to chase onto. They've got Lapalainen out wide and they've found it at the near post. It's an instant reply by Birmingham City. The left midfielder, Lapalainen, puts that one straight past Patala. Here it is on the replay. They managed to get through Wes Harding, who's come very far forward. Our defensive line playing way too far up the pitch. As they find Lapalainen in behind the lines. And he comfortably slots that one in at the near post. And the goal does come to Alassi Alapalainen in the 37th minute. It's his first goal in the championship this season. It will be the boys of Scunthorpe United to kick things off now in this first half. So it's an almost instant reply by the lads of Birmingham City as we look to try and press forward here. Get ourselves another goal to our name. Hoiberg into Chanatip Sonkrasen who takes a bit of a heavy touch. But he works in a bit of space and he fires off a shot at Connell Truman. He puts it down past the post. We'll get the corner now. 42 minutes in. Sonkrasen to take near post. Alvarez is there. And it fires over the goal in the end. He looks to go all the way back. Berda looks to spring a ball wide into Valrosia. We've got men running here in Alvarez. Can we find Eric? We do. The touch is heavy. He gets the strike off. Connell Truman in the right place at the right time as he fires it straight into him. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that will do us for the first 45 minutes in this game. At St Andrews Trillion Trophy Stadium. So it was a rather tetchy game for the first 30 minutes until we scored the goal. Birmingham respond with an almost instant reply. As the lads roll into the sheds at halftime, it is Birmingham City 1, Scunthorpe United 
one. So, ladies and gentlemen, on screen right now are the match facts for the first 45 minutes against a Birmingham City. So, if you guys want to have a look at these in a little bit more detail, just pause the video and resume when you are right to go for all those that are still here. Let's get in to this second half. And it will be the boys of Scunthorpe United to kick things off for the second half. As mentioned earlier, it was a really tetchy first half. Both sides taking the time to work each other out. But we'll look to press on forward as Alvarez is there. We get a ball onto Chanatips on Kras and what's he got? Oh, and it's unstoppable. Straight from the kickoff, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed to bag ourselves a second. And it is the Thai attacking midfielder who manages to deal the damage. And here it is on the replay. Some beautiful passing to Route 1 football coming in from out wide. Just some well-placed passes to find Chanit Hips on Kras and in a bit of space. And he takes the time to lever that shot in past the Birmingham City keeper. And that goal does come to Chanit Hips on Kras in the 49th minute. And it's three for him now in the EFL Championship. And Birmingham City will kick things off for more of this second half. Are they going to give us an instant reply like they did in the first half? Or are they going to try their luck? Tries to flick one into Lapalainen, who's now switched wings. Keeper Batala come out for it, please. Alvarez looks to find a ball through for Chanatip Songkras. And we've found Crowley out wide against his old club. He's taken down. And the referee will come across in injury time. What is going to be the result of that? It's going to be nothing for him. It's just a free kick. It will be Songkras to take it in the extra period. This will be probably the last kick of the game. Songkrasen is going to absolutely put his boot through it. And he's managed to put it in straight at Connell Truman. And that will probably be the last kick of the game. Alvarez inside to Crowley. And I am not far off the mark. So we do manage to clinch a narrow win over the lads of Birmingham City. It was a tough fought one there in the second half. Birmingham changing up their press to something very aggressive. And after 90 minutes, it does finish up Birmingham City 1, Scunthorpe United 2. So ladies and gents, on screen right now are the match facts after our 90 minutes against Birmingham City. So if you guys want to have a look at these in a little bit more depth, just pause the video for all those that are still here. We'll move now into our next game. Okay, guys, so moving into our second game of today's episode. This one comes on Saturday, October the 2nd at home against Crystal Palace. This will be a simulated game. And we will be running out the first team in this fixture for it as well. And we'll simulate straight on through this. And it is a very narrow win for us. We do take down Crystal Palace 2-1 with 10 men as Ponce gets a red card. Okay, guys, so moving into today's third game, we're away on Wednesday, October the 6th against a Charlton Athletic. So the squad has been picked. So, guys, let's get in this game. Here we are, guys, at the Valley as Charlton Athletic will play host to us, Scunthorpe United. Okay, guys, so here are the player lineups for both sides as we move into this clash with Charlton Athletic. So for them, it is Phillips in goal, a back four of Oshila, Lockyer, Becker, and Purrington. One defensive midfielder in Medina, two standard midfielders in Goke and Vinyan, uh, an attacking midfielder in Ostama, and two strikers in Aneki and Namani. As for the boys of Scunthorpe United, it will be the backup brigade in this fixture with Batala and Gola back for of Gabar, Wright, Magahi, and Tavares. Two holding midfielders in Kachini and Rivera. Three in the high midfield with Mobile on the right, Colcloth on the left, Makati through the guts, and Nasang Ho will be up front as the striker. And it will be Charlton Athletic to kick things off for this 90 minutes at the Valley. So, a bit more of the same in uh, this game against Charlton. We are running the backup brigade due to some stamina issues with the first team, but that's okay. The first two games of this, this part have been rather strong on us. But it will be Mabil who picks up the scraps in the end. We get that one forward for McAtee. He's going to lay it back for Narsang Ho. Takes the strike. Phillips gets a hand on it. We'll get ourselves a well-worked corner. On and out for Scunthorpe United. Mabil to take. 24 minutes in. It'll go in. Unmarked. Nasang Ho is there. It comes off Aneki. Back to Phillips. They will clear away the danger and redistribute. Kachini all the way forward now for John McAtee. He flicks on a ball through now for Rivera, who's making a bit of a run. 
Mega T is going to make his run a little bit late. Nope, he's going to get there in the end. He's going to bore all the defender and he's got the shot off. Oh my days, ladies and gents. What a fantastic goal by the centre forward who absolutely dazzles his defender. He didn't know on the replay here if he was going to make that run, but he does. Ball rolls around his defender and straight across the face of the keeper on his right peg. He absolutely blitzes that one into the bottom corner. And the goal does come to young John McAtee in the 32nd minute. Two for him now in the EFL Championship. And it will be Charlton Athletic after the half an hour mark to kick things off in this first half. So they've got a bit of lax in defense. It's going to come in forward now. Na Sang Ho manages to retain possession. Gets in a flip ball over the top. Lays it back. Nobody there. Caccini will pick it up in a deep area. And he's going to take a swipe on it from range. Phillips gets down. He will concede the corner though. And it's a corner now for Scunthorpe United. Awamaville will take it 44 minutes in. Rivera's hit in the back. But his header only finds the chest and hands of Phillips. And as he distributes that ball out to his midfield, it will be time called on this first half by the referee. The only goal so far coming to young John McAtee. As we roll into the sheds at halftime, it is Charlton Athletic nil, Scunthorpe United one. So ladies and gentlemen, on screen right now are the match backs as we roll into the sheds for the halftime break. So if you guys want to have a look at these in a little bit more depth, just pause the video. For all those that are still here, let's crack on with this second half. And it will be the Irons, the boys of Scunthorpe United to kick things off for this second half. It seems to be that we're getting the job done with the backup brigade in this fixture. As they look now to spring on a counter attack. They've got one in over the back for Goke. To chase down, he gets the cross in, it comes off Tavares, Batala comes out, it's a mess of bodies, and in the end it does fall down to Aki, and he manages to dispatch that one into the back of the net, here it is on the replay, Goke does get the cross in, takes a deflection off one of our lads, Batala comes out for it, and doesn't claim it, and it falls kindly to Charlton Athletic, and they'll just put that one in, and that goal does come to Chukas Anaki, that's his first goal in the championship, and it's an almost instant reply as we start the second half. It will be Scunthorpe to kick things off again. We look like the more promising side here in the first part of the second half. They've had their one attack and they've dispatched it clinically into Caccini now. Look to go forward into Nasang Ho. He's going to hold it up for John McAtee who's going to have another crack at it again. And that one is not far off. Rivera will win that and he gets the ball out for Omar Gabar. We look for a cutback here for a man running on it is Caccini! And he has fired it into the back of the net. That one was just too easy for us. A defensive midfielder with an absolute rocket. But here it is on the replay. Omar Gabar gets forward, looks to get it to the top of the 18-yard box. And that is an absolute power strike by the defensive midfielder, Caccini, as he levers that one in straight at the back corner of the net. The goal does come to Emmanuel Caccini in the 74th minute. It's his first one this season in the championship. And it will be Charlton Athletic to kick things off here in the second half. So two goals so far in this second half. So plenty of highlights to watch. Bailey Wright will win the header. Rivera will get that one out wide to Awama Bill. He's going to let in an early cross. Oh, it does come into the area. Nasang Ho will pick it up. He'll lay it back too far back. Rivera on the Tavares. Tavares with a first time strike and he sneaks it in. Ladies and gents, the left back doing his attacking duties. That was a great piece of play from that early cross, forcing the Charlton defense to hire their line. Here it is on the replay as we go all the way back to Tavares. One, two's in right there with the defensive midfielder in Rivera. And he calmly works himself into a bit of space, puts it on his left foot. And drills it low and hard. Keeper looks like he got a touch on it as well. And that goal does come to Junior Tavares in the 87th minute. His first goal in the championship. And it will be Charlton to kick things off. We have made a couple of substitutions. Not going to go through them though. Because we are in the 87th minute. Just to get a bit of time into some player legs. Bailey Wright looks to go wide now. Into Mabil. Can we score ourselves another one? Nasang Ho gets a ball through there for Colcliffe. What is going on? 
Charlton have absolutely capitulated in the last half an hour of this game. We get ourselves another goal from kickoff. So here it is on the replay. We get the ball out to Mabil. Straight in central. A through ball all the way through to Colcliffe, who I didn't think was going to get on the end of that with two defenders chasing him down. But he manages to get himself one in at the near post. And the goal does come to Ryan Colcliffe in the 90th minute. Two for him now in the EFL Championship. And it will be Charlton. I'm pretty sure that they would have thought this game was all but over. But we still are going to fight until the final whistle is blown. And as I say that, the final whistle does get blown. So it's an absolute blowout in the end against the Charlton Athletic. They just capitulated and fell apart in the second half. And after 90 minutes, it does finish up. Charlton Athletic 1, Scunthorpe United 4. Ladies and gentlemen, on screen right now are the matchbacks after our 90 minutes against the Charlton Athletics. So if you guys want to have a look at these in a little bit more depth, just pause the video. For all those that are still here, let's move on to the final game of this episode. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's fourth and final game of the episode, we're at home on October the 12th against Millwall. So this will be a simulator game. We will be running the first team, but we do have a little bit of issues though. There are a bit of changes in there due to players being out on international duty. So we'll simulate straight on through this game. And for us, it's a 3-0 win. Three goals, a hat-trick to Eric, but Burda getting a straight red card. Alrighty guys, so that about wraps up in today's episode. We'll return with the next one, which is a game on Saturday, October the 16th, away against Soak City, but I just want to finish up by saying thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave your comments and feedback down below. Don't forget to us uh, back that subscribe button if you have not already. And tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that aren't aware, please jump on and join in all the fun and in all the banter on the official Quantum Flight Games Discord channel. Links will be on screen and in the description below. And we are doing some live streams now on both YouTube and Twitch. So make sure that you are following on my Twitch and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel with the notification bell tick to get notified for when I go live on either of those platforms. The link for my Twitch will be on screen and in the description below. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Scunthorpe United Road to Glory Career Mode very, very soon. Be the, be the, be the.